In this screencast we're going to look at the text pages, the title page, the orientation page, bullets page, plain text page and summary page. We'll look at one or two tips and tricks and optional properties. This is Quick and Dirty Zerty. Going to start by creating a brand new learning object. So we select the Xerti Online Toolkit template and click Create. We give our new Xerti Learning Object a suitable name, in this case Xerti Online Toolkit's Page Types or XOT for short and click Create Project. We see the editor window appear and now the first, normally the first thing we would do is change the the properties of our learning object but in this case we'll we'll cover this in a future tutorial so for now we'll go straight ahead and select insert text and we'll add a title page to our learning object as we hover over the the page type we can see a preview and a short description of what the page type is for so we select title page here we're prompted to add a a page title will appear top left of the screen so we'll say text hyphen title page and then the title text field is where we add the the title text that will appear in the middle of the learning object so we'll just say welcome to Xerti online toolkits. We could change the default font size but we'll leave it at 30. You can see there's a range of size in the drop down menu. So we scroll down to the bottom of the, the screen and select play. So we see our title text top left of the page and welcome to Xerti Online Toolkits in the middle. So very quick, very easy to, to do. We select insert text again the next page is the bullets page so we repeat the process text hyphen bullets and in this case I'm just going to um, copy and paste some text from a notepad document rather than type it out quick point to mention here is our first paragraph ends with the word students and then full stop and then we have two carriage returns before the next paragraph and we'll see when we click play that that's what determines um, what builds paragraph so we have our title page navigate to the second page and our paragraphs build based on those um, double returns okay what we could do here is select um, a paragraph of text and we could select bullet and what we'll see if we play that page again now and navigate to the second page is that we have some bullets in that second paragraph so as well as the build effect you can right click and add bulleted text and achieve um, some small bullets within the within the paragraphs okay we'll select insert text and this time orientation Now this is a useful page if only for the prompts that it gives you to add to every learning object that you create so it's good practice to add objectives or goals uh, information about target audience any prerequisites and how to use or perhaps some instructions on how to navigate etc Now to save a bit of time we've copied and pasted the the text in here so um, but one little tip is when you're working on a, a page and you're refining it is to select the page in the tree and use the arrow keys to move it up to the top of the tree and this way when you click play it will appear as the first page so you can quickly check um, make any changes that you need and then move it to the position in the tree that you you actually require so we're quite happy with that page 
we'll select it in the tree and normally the orientation page might be the the second page in the learning object after the title so we'll just move it down one position okay so select insert text and the next page in the list of options is the plain text page so again we add a title and we're going to copy and paste some text okay once again we're going to move this to the top of the tree and select play and then we have our plain text page and move it back to the bottom of the tree again so the last text page we have is the summary page and again, this is useful to um, as a prompt that it's worth summarizing what was covered in the learning object and um, any next steps that apply. So we're going to copy and paste some text again to save some time. And another useful feature of most of the text boxes inside Xerti is that you can add hyperlinks. You can see we already have a hyperlink here, but the way that you do this is to select the text that you want to be the hyperlink, right click, select hyperlink, and this is where you can type or paste um, the address that you want to be the link. In this case, we'll cancel this because we already have the link in place. So if we click play, we should see our new learning object with five pages. The title page, the orientation page, the bulleted page, plain text page, and finally the summary page. In this screencast, we've looked at the text pages, looked at the title page, quick and easy to use, you might want to use the image and sound or column page as an alternative to the title page. We'll cover this in a future tutorial. The orientation page, good practice to add objectives, target audience, tips on how to use the learning objects, etc. The bullets page, limited use, but you can decide for yourself where that has a place. The plain text page, likewise, you might want to use the column page as an alternative and the summary page, which is again good practice, um, including hyperlinks to follow-up resources or additional material. I'm Ron Mitchell, this has been Quick and Dirty Zerty.